I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This is the easiest version to learn, so if you're new to the game, look for a link in the video description below for a lesson playlist and download this player reference so that you can learn the scoring. On the back are instructions for how to play the game, and if you need a set of tiles at home, there's a link for that in the video description. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. We're going to roll these dice just to randomize which seat we're in for the exercise. For the first one, I rolled a six. Two, four, six will be player two. Player two, east round, I will get 13 tiles. We are player two and it's east round. We got a one flower. We won't get score for that. The number corresponds to your seat. Since we're player two, we won't get any value for this flower but you get a replacement. We got a one crack. So here we have single honors. Honors are wins and dragons. We have four bams, four cracks, three dots. We have a flower with no value. For a three fawn table, this is going to be a long road to haul. We do have two pair. I think what I would probably do is discard dots, hold cracks and bams, see what comes in, and then go for either all pung, which is all three of a kind, so we would, be, we would need to pung and pung, and then maybe pair up. Since we're in seat two, that is south, we do have that wind. If we can pair up and pung, we can get score for that one fawn. Any Pung of Dragons is a Fawn, so if we compare e both of these up, we could get value there. So for three Fawn, we're going to either need to do a Half Flush, one suit with Winds and Dragons, or all Pung. We have a long way to go for both. South Round. I rolled a nine, so we're going to be player one. I'll get 14 tiles this time. No flowers, that's a fawn right there. We are in the south round, east seat, player one. We have a pair of the wind of the round. If we pung, we can get a fawn for that. I think we should play a half flush. Discard these. Here we could chow or pung. We have a pung right here, but if we split it off, we have a potential chow and a potential pung. We could maybe chow here too. So we have one, two, three, four blocks. All we really need is a pair. I think that even though we have five discards, there is potential for a half flush here. And that is three fawn. With a pung of the wind of the round, that would be an additional fawn. So if we took this to a win, we would have four fawn. Five fawn with no flowers, but the minute you draw a flower, you lose that fawn. So I try not to hope for that. It's a nice bonus. We are now going to do west round. 
This time we're going to be in seat three because I rolled a seven. West round, we're in seat three. So west round, west is our seat. For these tiles, I think I would try for either a half flush with cracks or all pung. We have two pair. That's not enough. I think we have more potential for chows. Potential chow. Here's a chow right there, but we could use a chow here, here. We need to pair up and draw more cracks. I would hold that just the same. And if we pair up, play all pung. And it's okay to mix suits with your pungs because all pung, regardless of the mixture, is three fawn. I would discard these first, see if we can get cracks for a half flush. If we pair up, keep this and pung. These need to be paired up and punged. You could use them as one of your pair, of course, but to get value here, we need to pung. And you can't use singles when you have number tiles two through eight. You've got to pair up and pung or use it as a pair. No such thing as a chow of dragons. We are going to do north round now. This time we are going to be south because I rolled a six. Player two. We have a flower, a two flower. We're in C2 South. We get a fawn for that. That is a valued flower. We drew another one. No score though, it's a four. So for these tiles, we have two dots, a bam, three, ooh, here's another dot. three dots, three cracks. But we do have two pair here with honors. Red dragon, that can give us some value. Any Punga dragons is a fawn. It is north round and we have a pair of north. If we pung that, even though it is not our seat, seat two, because it is the wind of the round, we'll get a fawn for that if we can pung. I would probably hold the honors for, for score the South is our seat, so we might get score for that if we can pair up and pung. This one, not so much this time. I would still hold it because it could help us get to a half flush. I would hold the dots and the cracks to see which came in. Whatever we draw, that's the suit I would go for. I would start by discarding this five bam. Play either dots or cracks with honors. To get to three fawn, we would need to pung both of these with our flower. If we were to do that quickly, we could potentially chow here and here for a win. We would have one, two, three, four blocks. All we would need is a pair, either there or here. So we could do that, but I would rather go big and do half flesh, which is three fawn. I'd pick one or the other if it were me. Hong Kong Mahjong is relatively easy to learn. If you would like to play online, look for my email in the video description below. Send me an email and I can send you a 30-day VIP code for Mahjong time. Hong Kong Mahjong is one of the versions that they support. Don't forget to download this player reference so you can study the scoring elements. If you play at a zero point table, you can have any combination at all. But if you happen to join a three, 
FON table or eight minimum points, you're going to need to know score. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.